Is AI going to result in mass layoffs in tech? Will AI replace all cybersecurity jobs because AI will produce more secure systems? These are valid questions. And if you are a student or you're trying to break into cybersecurity, then you have a reason to be concerned. I've been carefully exploring AI for the last few months and I have very important lessons that I will share with you. This video will be broken down into three parts. Part one, the AI apocalypse. Part two, what jobs will AI replace? And part three, AI's true effect on cybersecurity security jobs. I will also share with you three actions that you need to take if you want to win in the age of AI. So make sure you have your pen and paper, take some notes and let's get into it. Part one, the AI apocalypse. Like you, I watched as the world has changed last year when OpenAI released ChatGPT. It took the world by a storm, but I've also noticed the mass hysteria around AI. This has definitely made me question my career path. Is it really worth it to continue to learn cybersecurity and work in cybersecurity if AI is going to replace all cybersecurity? professionals so I went down a rabbit hole to explore what chat GPT was all about and I was really surprised by what I found Elon Musk and other major tech leaders calling for a pause on giant artificial intelligence e experiments in an open letter they warned this AI systems with human competitive intelligence can po can pose profound risk to society. You see the idea that AI will lead to an apocalypse can make for a very entertaining Netflix show. But as entertaining as this idea can be, it's all predicated on Moore's law, which says that computing power doubles every two years because transistors keep getting smaller. However, if you've been working in the tech for a while, you know that this has not been the case in the past. Computing power has definitely not doubled every two years. And we have many, many physical limitations for this but as I kept going down the rabbit hole to understand how was GPT-4 a massive improvement over chat GPT I was really really surprised because this is what I found well GPT-4 was definitely an improvement open AI itself said that GPT-4 was subject to the same limitation and problems that chat GPT have meaning it can still make similar mistakes it can spit up false information it still have reasoning problems and even bias problems in other words it was the exact same technology with minor improvements this is crucial because this means that GPT-4 was not four times better than the original chat GPT because from talking to people that's what everyone seemed to think but what about smart people like Elon Musk warning us from AI you see Elon Musk is a very very smart person he knows exactly what he's doing he knows that saying things like AI will bring on an apocalypse will get him media attention it will get him shares it will get him likes remember this is the same guy that told people to buy Dogecoin 18 months ago so as much as it pains me to say but the age of Ultron is not upon us because you know no, I'm prepared with my costume to fight crimes. But now with that out of the way, I kept exploring ChatGPT and GPT-4 and I could definitely see that it will 100% influence the workforce. And hearing things like this definitely didn't help. I think it takes like unique human arrogance to believe that uh, AI cannot supersede humans. So am I just another arrogant human being who thinks I can't be replaced by AI? Which brings me to part two. What jobs will AI replace? Now this is the part that made me really nervous and prompted me to take even more action to understand AI and get more experience with AI. I found that ChatGPT is really good at the following tasks. First, it can code really, really quickly. Is the code perfect? No. But give that code to an experienced programmer and they can easily integrate it with their workflow and their project to make themselves a lot faster but make no mistakes in mission critical areas like defense and even banking and finance we can't just put AI and let it spit out code and wish for the best there is something called governance and assurance meaning we really need experienced solid programmers to review that code and give us assurances that it will work as intended and in a secure manner which means we need a lot of really good and experienced programmers who can review the output of AI and make use of it which brings me to the very first step that will make you win in the age of AI revolution. Learn how to use AI to make yourself faster at your job. Whatever your job is, especially if it involves coding or writing and we'll get more into what jobs will be replaced by AI, but it's really, really important that you learn how to use ChatGPT and other forms of AIs really, really quickly. So you can be the person who can integrate AI with their own workflow to make themselves faster, which will definitely put you ahead of the curve. Now, there are many courses out there for AI, but this is by far the best course that I found. It's by Andrew Newen. It's called AI for everyone. I really like it because you can finish it fast and it's targeted at beginners and people who have no coding experience. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. Now going back to the jobs that I think will be affected by AI, the second one would be the creative arts, which is very surprising because we think as humans, our creativity is what makes us unique. 
what is it? So if we look at something like creative writing and we ask ChatGPT to write us a script for a short movie, you see the script is okay. It can definitely be improved, especially by someone who already know what script works for a good movie, for example. Now, same things with painting, images, voiceovers, and movies. And you see as a result of this, there are many, many tools now that can create images, movies, video clips, voiceovers, deep fakes. I'm sure you've seen it all. Now, can it make an entire movie? Yes. Is it going to be a good movie? No. But a really good director can make use of these AI tools to get faster at producing movies. Now, the third type of job that will be affected by AI was the most surprising of all to me. Because you see, as I was exploring AI, I was thinking, oh, so what? Let's say all office jobs disappear because AI can do everything. I thought to myself, well, I can always learn a trade and, you know, become an electrician. But then I saw this clip from Boston Dynamics, which clearly shows that there are some robots out there that can do all physical activities so much better than humans. Now, exploring more and more into AI was really a bit disturbing to me because I could see AI really influencing literally every type of job, whether it's an office job or an artistic job or even a physical job. But as I was exploring, something has become extremely clear to me, and it's possibly the most important part of this entire video, which will be the second tip that will help you win in the age of AI revolution, people skills. Combining your technical knowledge in your job and the knowledge on how to use AI to make yourself faster and having people skill will make you unstoppable. If you speak to any experienced programmer, they will tell you that the hardest part of the job is not writing the code itself, but it's understanding customer requirements because they keep changing and human nature is very, very chaotic. So if you learn how to have technical skills, AI skills, and you learn how to maneuver humans, trust me, you will have no problem winning in the age of AI. And this is not too different in cybersecurity. I can look at a company and I can give them the best recommendation that will help them secure the company. But if I can't convince the senior management of that company that they need to do what I'm telling them to do, it's completely pointless. And I've lost track of how many really, really good cybersecurity engineers who can't convince management to do anything because they have poor communication skills. But please don't confuse people's skills with being extroverted. I don't mean that you need to be loud and obnoxious. People skills means you're friendly, you're relatable, you're nice, you're approachable. People can talk to you, but also you can communicate your idea in a very nice, clear and a brief manner. And the best way to get those skills that I've seen time and time again work is for you to have a hobby outside of work that doesn't involve you sitting in front of a screen but also gets you talking to people. For example, doing a team sport or joining a martial arts class or anything really that gets you out of the house. I've seen the transformation of people when they pursue these hobbies, how it improves every aspect of their life. So trust me on this one. Which brings me to the third part of the video. How will AI change cybersecurity jobs? Now, after learning all of that and exploring everything about AI, things have become a lot clearer in my head. But surprisingly, I found that the biggest challenge that we will face as cybersecurity professionals is not that AI will take our jobs. No, it's the fact that hackers are using AI and they're using it really well. Hackers now using fake chat GPT to infect your computer. Hackers are using AI to write malware, ransomware, exploits, and launch all sorts of attacks super, super fast. I've never seen anything like it before. So at the moment, any idiot can use AI to write malware, which is a massive problem for us cybersecurity professionals. It just means that will be an influx of bigger and bigger attacks, which means more work for us. Shocking, I know. And I know many people will disagree with me, but trust me, this is not the first time that people tell me that cybersecurity jobs will disappear. In in fact, three or even five years ago, people told me that cybersecurity jobs will disappear because everything will be automated. And lo and behold, in the last two years alone, demands have more than doubled. But you know what's also funny? The people who talk about cybersecurity jobs, most of them don't even work in cybersecurity. A lot of them are network engineers or network admins or people who don't even work with technology. And I like to quote Plato here, as empty vessels make the loudest sound, so they that have the least wit are the greatest blabbers. And look, I get it.
get it. I'm not saying people are not allowed to have an opinion. They definitely do. But what I'm trying to say here, my opinion on brain surgery does not hold the same value as the opinion of a brain surgeon who has been doing brain surgery for 20 years. So choose who you listen to wisely. Now, as far as what I believe will happen in cybersecurity, I think tools will continue to get better and technology will continue to improve. Yes, we will see AI integrated with many, many cybersecurity tools, but that doesn't mean they're going to get better. In fact, from what I see from cybersecurity vendors, I'm not really holding my breath, but make no mistakes. Tools are useless without the eyes and hands of an experienced cybersecurity professionals. Which brings me to the third tip that will make you win in the age of AI revolution. You need to get as good as you can fast. This is really a great time to get into cybersecurity, but you need to hurry up. Make it a goal to become a really good cybersecurity professionals. Go deep in a specialization, learn as much as you can because there will be a need for people with experience and who also have the people skills. So if you want to know the fastest and cheapest way possible to become a cybersecurity analyst, I talked about it in detail in this video with a roadmap and a step-by-step -step guide on how to get you there.